Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in Paradox Error. A slightly, slightly challenging, but albeit not too bad platformer developed by Nerd Games, published by East Asia Soft and is available for just £4.19, so nice and light on ye or wallet. Now, as you've come to expect with East Asia Soft Games, this is another easy one with very simple achievements which can be done in about 10 to 20 minutes. You only have to beat the first three levels, although the second one may take a few attempts as it is one of those annoying, for me personally anyway, moving platforming section levels where you have to rush to get to the other side, kind of like a chicken, but a dead one if you don't move fast enough. Hmm. So, <laughs> now there is only one missable achievement in the whole game, and that's in level 3. The rest are basically for dying a number of times, jumping a number of times, and pressing new game. Yep, it is literally as simple as that. So, with that being said then, let's get our asses another 1000 gamer score slash platinum, shall we? And so for the first achievement then, press the A button slash cross button on the PlayStation, and press new game, this unknown error message will occur, and if you press it again, that is when we can actually start the game. So of course, move the character with the left stick, move the cursor with the right stick, and press A to jump. That is literally all we need. So you're going to get an achievement as well for jumping 10 times in a single playthrough, like right about meow. So it is literally one of those, uh, I mean, I suppose if they were called East Asia Hard, then, uh, you know, we could make a lot more jokes about it. Slash, uh, they could probably make harder games, but they call East Asia Soft, which means easy achievements for us. I don't know if that's how it works out, but we'll see. So this first level, anyway, very easy. Just um, keep jumping on the blocks, get used to the controls. You may potentially die once or twice, sort of over jumping, not jumping enough, but it should be relatively easy. As I said, level two is where the potential slight tricky challenge comes into it. And you'll see why. The whole level is just a moving platform. So we're going on the new game right here. We're we are going to unlock a couple of achievements. Uh, so if you just jump on the new game, we're also going to get an achievement for staying on the moving platform for five seconds. That is pretty much unmissable. If you manage to do this level without going on the moving platform, then goddamn you mofos are fantastic. So anyway, yeah, this is one of those levels that the sort of, um, again, you may die a few times, it took me a good couple of attempts as well, and it's literally because if you actually jump into a wall, your character gets stuck for a second, which he can then drop and miss the moving platform, it's easy to get caught on the spikes as well, so this is very important to sort of jump, um, give the spikes enough room, it, you don't really have any room uh, for error when it comes to jumping on the spikes, or even next to them. Um, otherwise, it's literally just a case of the more you go through the level, the more you will get used to the layout sort of thing. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to say about it. Really. Um, now, I managed to get the dying six and nine times, plus this third jumping achievement as well. So, yeah. So, that's it. So, I think I do... Do I die right here? No, I don't. So I do get to the end. So if you just keep watching the rest of the level, I will shut my yam and hopefully you should get a good grips to where everything is. So that should now be the end of this level. Now the best thing to do with that level is literally just don't panic and don't pressure and rush yourself. Otherwise you're going to have a bad time. So we're going to jump down to the right here. We're going to be getting the nothing achievement now. So jump over the spikes, jump over to the next set of blocks. And then where we jump up here, we're going to jump to the left now. 
sort of this is where the area we are. So jump to the left, jump up again, be careful and mindful of the old spiky boys. And then just keep jumping on these each individual blocks until we get to the second to last one, the penultimate one, right here, where it says nothing here. And that is the only, as I said, missable achievement of the game. Um, now, I am basically going to die just as... I, I basically just go through the middle here. Sorry, I lost my own train of thought for a second there. So what I do then, we're going to start again, die, start again, and then what I do is just basically go through the middle. This is one of those levels where you can either take the upper path, the lower path, or the middle path. For me, it, it, it makes no difference. But this one is significantly easier, in my opinion, than the second level, because you can go at your own piss and pace. Stupid moving platform sections. Why? Anyway, like I said, once again, I'm just going to let you enjoy the rest of the level without my b beautiful Welsh booming voice in tow. So again, just um, don't worry about the snowflakes, the woke snowflakes, uh, but do be mi very mindful of the spikes and just keep on going until you get to the end. Obviously, that's how you get the uh, beat the level and get the achievement. And here we are then, coming up to the level, the end of the level, and that will be that. So that's all three levels beat. If you only need one more achievement, which you potentially may need, and that's for dying 18 times, literally just walk off the edge. Yeah. Walk off the cliff and then keep doing it as you respawn. Just keep dying until you get the achievement for dying 18 times. Otherwise, that is that then, guys and gals. So... What did you think of the game? Any good? Enjoy it? Well, it's another easy thousand on Platinum, so we can't complain too much, can we? <laughs> but thanks so much for checking out the guide. Hopefully it helped. If it did help, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Um, also, don't forget to check me out on all my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. I really, really do appreciate anyone who ever checks those, any of those out. Uh, again, uh, speaking of Patreon, big shout out to TimG84, Coast, and TF Chan for uh, the continued support on Patreon as well. And for everyone else who continues to support me on Patreon as well, you guys and gals are freaking fantastic. But that is that then, guys and gals. So I shall see you in the next one. Big love.